Okay. All right. Oh, we all made it. I feel like we just went to outer space or something. Like we've just been beamed up. I wondered if you'd lost your power. No, it was, no, it was, yeah, it was a, it, it was a little bit of confusion about where the meeting room was, but we're, we're all there now. So now we're all here. There's Elizabeth and. We're missing Tom. Oh yeah. I heard, did I just hear Tom? I thought I heard Tom. I well, and Joe, we're missing Joe. Joe's here. No, I'm oh, here. Joe here. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, there you are. Yeah, just wasn't Joe, showing on my. Uh, Dennis came in. But no Tom. Somehow I hit the wrong thing and my video is not doing, but I don't think you need the video. I look the same. As long as we hear you. I thought that you were, um, I thought your Tom will show up. Okay, I will um, call this special meeting of the Board of Directors of Community Television of Santa Cruz County, uh, August 17th, 2025 p.m. meeting to order with our secretary, please call the roll. Or note the roll, you need to call it. Yeah, might as well call it. You're your muted, microphone's Larry. off, Larry. You're muted. Sorry about that. I got it now. Here, technology is not my thing. Uh, Chair Maziars. Here. Director Hall. Here. Director Rand. Nope. Muted. Here. <laughs> Link twice if you're here. Yep. Director O'Driscoll. Here. Director Delanier. Here. Director Shaw. Here. Director Gudger. Here. Director Mannheim, I think. No. Okay. All right. Well, we have a quorum. I note. Thank you very much, uh, everyone, for attending today. Um, I don't see any members of the public, but I'll just say, uh, let's call item number two, oral communications. Anybody want to uh, say anything to the board? All right. Hearing none, we can move on to item three, uh, consideration of late additions, the agenda additions, deletions. Um, I had uh, wondered if we should, I mean, Becca did send me a report from last month when we canceled the meeting, but um, I don't know if everybody's okay with just moving on to the rest of the agenda. Does anybody have anything they want to add to the agenda? Why don't you just email the report on to us? Yeah, can I do that? Okay, I think so. I'll do that. Yeah. It's from last month, but um, yeah, okay, I will forward that. All right, so let's move to our regular agenda. Item number four, the appropriation of funds for lease of capturing equipment. I just pulled that text out of my mind and hopefully that is legal. Um, and uh, Becca, would you like to present uh, something sure. to the board on that item? Of course. Um, we have been uh, working with the city to do, to do captioning for the city council meetings for a while. And um, uh, I talked to them last year and then we had to wait for this year's budget to go through. And our, um, they eliminated many things, but we were left in the end. So we uh, will be, uh, we have been awarded the contract to caption the city's um, government meetings. So uh, because the city has to be on its own channel, the city and uh, county meet at the same time. Their board meetings overlap. They don't meet at the same time, but their meetings overlap. So we have, they have to be on a separate channel. So we need a separate captioner for that. So we, um, we need to buy a captioner and uh, this would be our second captioner, but um, we won't have to buy any more. No matter who else wants to be captioned, we've got everybody covered with two captioning machines. And uh, last time I talked to you about a, uh, a $15,000 machine. And um, in the end, we did not buy that machine because the county required a special older uh, model that, had, that could, could do high definition and standard definition at the same time to accommodate their closed circuit captioning within the county building. So we actually didn't purchase the one that you okayed. We, we purchased a lesser a less expensive one um, and an older version, but it does what the county needs. This time we do want to buy the current state of the art version and um, it will do a couple of things for us. One, it, it does better captions. It also does punctuation. Ordinarily, it's just like one big run on sentence. And we like that the punctuation really makes it easier to read. And um, the, but the most important thing it does is um, because the encoder is built in, uh, the last time we talked about this, we had our own encoder. So it, we would have uh, 
if we bought the new machine, we wouldn't have been using that encoder. And there was some discussion about, we already had that piece, so why buy it? This time, uh, we don't have an extra encoder. So we're buying the machine with the encoder included. And that allows us to do a really important thing. We're able to go into the machine remotely and troubleshoot and fix and configure. Now, when we do that, uh, Victor has to go to the county building, and in order to be in the special room where the gear is, he has to get an escort. And once he's in the room, he can't make a phone call because it's like a Faraday cage in there, and he can't see our channel. So he has to leave the building, come back to our place, and look on the screen and see what's going on. And um, with this, he'll be able to address it from our office. He can just remote in. And the, the um, tech support people that we pay to maintain this machine can also remote in and fix anything that's misconfigured or if, if the power goes out and has to be readjusted in some way, they can do it. So it saves the county's time right now because so many people are either furloughed or working from home. Um, Victor has had to have people called in from home to take him into the basement so he can work on this gear. So I'm sure the county would appreciate the upgrade as well. So what I wanna do is we're supposed to be, in our strategic plan, we say that we are wanting to be the state of the art and technology and the leader in technology. So I think we need to provide our staff and our customers and our viewers the state of the art in technology as well. And um, I think we'll all like the quality better and it'll make Victor's life easier and the life of those people who work in IT at the county as well. So um, that's, I need your permission to uh, do this because it's above the level that I can approve. But it is, it is a good idea. We'll, we'll result in a lot of profit for us from this machine. I have a quick question. Sure. Yes, please go ahead. Uh, since you can't see me, I can't raise my hand, but uh, <laughs> uh, when, when is the city gonna start doing it? I'm just kind of curious. They're ready to do it now. As soon as we get this thing purchased and installed, they're ready to go. Oh. Have the budget for it. Budget's mm -hmm. approved. Yeah, the budget's approved. We've got a nice giant PO. Yes, Mr. Gudger. Where is the equipment going to physically be? That was my it? question. You stole my question. Go ahead. Is it going to be uh, at, at the city council chambers or will it be uh, in the uh, data center? At, at hey, let Keith ask his question. <laughs> I did. <laughs> that's ask. what he asked. Yeah, yes. Uh, I think it's in the county building because that's where the signal goes out. So that, and then because it's there, other other video signals will be able to be routed to it for other yeah. uses. Yeah, and if we did anybody else's meetings, we could do it from there. So it, it'll be in the county building with the other one. So does um does this I, I haven't looked. Does the city have their own uh, in-house uh, video streaming solution, or do they just use community televisions? Uh, we do it. They don't do an in-house thing. They don't have Granicus no, or they anything just like that. Use well, they may. Oh, but oh they, they, I think they. I think they still use Sire. They use something, but I they don't. They still use Sire. For the, does that have its own video streaming? It, uh, it, it, it when it did a while ago. I don't know if it still does, but I think that's the the tool they were back. The last time I looked, that's what they're yeah, using. The last but time I used it. But, but they aren't like the county. They aren't requiring um, captions to be uh, put on their. No, journal. they're no. They're okay with the the way that we have planned to set it up. Thank goodness. They'll get the better. It'll be easier. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> easier for everyone. So if we were to send a signal from the studio to the county, which, you know, over our radio, would we be able to switch this on for something we broadcast live from our studio? Yes, I think so. Yeah. Could we caption other things? Yeah, we could. Because it, it's with the election coming up, it's conceivable we could do something live, assuming we could open up. <laughs> as long as it's not at the same time. I mean, either way, we can do it on one or the other. Because I mean, we've got two captioning machines now, so we can. So if there's a city council and a board of supervisors meeting going on at the same time, then, then we wouldn't be able to. But as long as there's not, and we can always caption. We can caption after the fact too. Like there's a bunch of. Um, uh, county supervisor meetings that happened that while we were trying to install the captioning equipment. And so a couple of them didn't get captioned live, but we will caption them 
in the later. So we can always capture something after the fact, even if we can't do it live. Uh, the question I have, to, following up Keith's question, Matreya. Go ahead, Joe. Um, if we do it in our own studio, then we'd have to train a volunteer to do it or somebody? No, it's just, we just- It's automatic? Victor would just feed it to the captioner, yeah. Okay. He, we just schedule it. We tell the captioner what shows to do and, and which not to do. I mean, we don't so tell them not to do. We just we schedule it to be captioned, and then it comes on automatically and does it. So it's that accurate that you don't need somebody there monitoring it? Oh, no, no. We don't do that. Vice Chair okay. Rand, did you have a Yeah, so I see, uh, so we have a limit of 30 hours a month. How much, how much do the... Uh, it's it's less than 30 hours i added it up we could actually probably it's probably it would be very close but we could do both both the city council and the board of supervisors in a 30 hour but we get two now we get 30 hours for the for the, right. the so i mean I'm, I'm, I'm hearing keith ask if then we can have other programs oh yeah well the city council does have well they have done like up to 20 hours in a month Mm -hmm. But there's, I mean, we would just keep track of it. Right. I, I think they, some... they, they had a meeting was 12 hours once. Oh, yeah, one. <laughs> yeah, they did. All right, everybody raise your hands, please, if you want to speak. Right, so I wasn't done yet. So uh, basically, if other programs get captioning, then we will charge them, right? Is that what we do then? We charge, yeah. Yeah, if, if they wanted to, if other other organizations wanted to caption, yeah, we would charge them. I think I think uh, Vice Chair Aaron was asking about uh, were you asking about volunteer programs or, or any any program. I mean, it could also be professional programs. You know, people who rent the studio and want to have it captured. Uh, you know. Yeah, yeah. We would if we were to go over our thirty hours, we would charge for the captioning and we build that cost in. It would be, well, it could be a money maker, of course. It could be. Yeah, if, it if it's possible, I think you should charge them anytime. Yeah. Whether yeah. they go, you know, stay under th the hour, 30 hours or not. Yeah, we would. We would charge anybody else. And if we went over the 30 hours, we would have built that fee in. So it would be okay. Yeah. I'm seeing uh, Keith raised his hand and Larry raised his hands, but I think I saw Keith's hand first. So go ahead. I just wanted to comment that when we did the strategic plan, we were looking at potential election related stuff. We didn't know there was going to be a pandemic. And, you know, in the past, CTV had an election night program that was live. Uh, we've looked, we were going to have um, potentially candidate statements. I was just thinking if we had something live election related, if we didn't have pandemic restrictions, then we might want to use it because, because it's a nice thing to have, to have it captured. Yeah, if we, if, I think we would caption it because if we can, I would like to. I, I wanted to do last year, but it was too close to the wire. We didn't have the time. And I, I believe we can fit that in inside our 30 hours. And I think that's a good public service. So I'll welcome Director Mannheim. Thank you for joining us. Sorry, um, I'm late, folks. No worries, better late than never. And, and um, Secretary Laurent, you had a question? Yeah, I just was looking at it. it. It looks like, I mean, we're getting charged the same, basically the same amount for the, the first 30 hours as we are for additional hours. So that would just be built in to, to whatever, yeah. whatever cost it is. So it's it's $30 an hour for that first 995, 33. So 33, right. Yeah. So yeah. It, it's, 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 they don't, they don't, they don't gouge you for going over that number. It's kind of a straight number across. Well, we're, paying, we're paying that whether we use it or not, though, right? Right, right. So that's why they gave you the two dollar an hour break, right? <laughs> no, but they don't. They don't like double the price. So it's you know whatever the cost structure is can go across the board. I'm sure. And they don't, to my knowledge, they don't actually audit it. <laughs> that's what they've told me. Oh, it's based on uh, an honor uh, system. Honor system. All right. Okay. Uh, any further questions, comments? Um, I guess I, I was just, um, you know, because I actually am familiar with the equipment there somewhat. Uh, I'm pretty sure the current captioning, I mean, it's, it's so the, there's no, there used to be a matrix switcher in there that allowed us to, or allowed staff to route video between different places. I don't think, I think that got pulled out or it's not in use anymore. 
So I'm pretty sure the current captioner is kind of, it's hardwired into channel 26. So I don't know if with this other captioner, I mean, if it will be hardwired into channel 25. So in terms of being able to caption other things, I mean, it'll, it'll have to be on 25 or 26 unless we add some sort of a matrix switcher to be able to reroute things dynamically. Yes, we want to do it live, but we can do anything whenever we want. We could do things at midnight and stuff and, and caption them for rebroadcasts or caption if we wanted to, like the, the candidate statements aren't live. We edit them all together. So then we could caption that sometime on either. Uh, we don't have to put it on the channel. We can just put it through the machine. Good to know. Uh, any other further questions or comments from board members? All right, seeing none, I will entertain a motion. Would somebody like to move approval of this item? I'll move we approve the item as on the agenda. Do we have a second? Second. All right, so uh, we have a motion by Director Gudger and a second by, uh, was it Vice Chair Rand or Director O'Driscoll? Yeah. I think I heard Vice Chair Rand. And I saw Director O'Driscoll's hand. So I guess Secretary Laurent, uh, what do we say? You make the decision. I have a second by uh, Vice Chair Rand. Okay, fantastic. All right, uh, would you please call the roll for the vote? Yes, uh, Director Gudger. Yes. Director Shaw. Yes. Director Lanye. Yes. Director O'Driscoll. Yes. Director Laurent. Yes. Director Mannheim. Yep. Vice Chair uh, Rand. Yay. Director Hall? Yes. Chair Maziars? Yes. All right, thank you very much. That passes unanimously. So those, uh, that per, um, lease has been authorized by the board. Um, and um, as a point of order, if I send out um, Becca's report that she sent to me to the board, do I need to post that publicly? Is it all right to just send it out to the board members? Or uh, where's our... Uh, Secretary Laurent, do you know? You can, you can send it out. You just got, there's no communication on it after the fact. Right. Okay. So I'll just forward that email on then to everybody. Yeah. All right. If uh, there's no other items on the agenda, so I'll entertain a motion for adjournment. Hold it. Hold it. There oh. is something. Yes. Director Rand. No, it was Vice Chair Rand is trying to get your attention. Oh, yes. Vice no, Chair. I said I make a motion to adjourn. She All right. Oh. Motion. Would you like to second that, Director Mannheim? <laughs> What the heck? Okay, we have a motion <laughs> and a second for adjournment. Uh, all those, in fi well, do we have to do a roll call? No, no. Okay, bye, bye, uh, acclaim. All all right, good, to s good to see you all. Okay, bye guys. Bye. 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 Thank you. Bye. Stay cool. Take care. Bye. Okay, yes. bye. Hopefully, Thank power stays on. All right, thank you all. Bye. 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 Thank you all.